Hey guys, this is Huang and this is the channel about how to immigrate to Canada. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Canadians return liberals to power with minority government. So the liberal immigration policies will continue, but they'll now need opposition support. Canadian voters elected a minority liberal government Monday night, bringing an end to a 40-day election campaign that heard many promises on immigration but never saw it emerge as a top issue. The liberal minority led by Justin Trudeau will face an opposition led by the Conservative Party of Canada, polls had both parties effectively tied for most of the campaign period and each earned around 34% of the popular vote Monday night. A resurgent bloc Quebecois took the third most seats followed by the New Democratic Party, NDP and the Green Party. The New People's Party of Canada, which campaigned on a pledge to halve the number of immigrants admitted each year to Canada, didn't win a seat. The Liberals' minority status means they will now have to find common ground among their opponents in parliament in order to pass legislation. However, given that all five parties represented in the House of Commons campaign and essentially pro-immigration policies, obtaining majority support for immigration policies may be possible. One priority issue in Canada's annual immigration levels, which the Liberals have pledged to raise through modest and responsible increases. The multi-year approach to immigration levels planning that was introduced by the Liberals in 2017 has the number of newcomers to Canada reaching 350,000 by 2021, a total annual increase of around 3% over 2020. This level of increase could continue beyond 2021 if the Liberals can gain majority support for the immigration targets moving forward. Nearly 60% of newcomers will be admitted through Canada's economic class immigration programs and the Liberals' election platforms said they will keep their focus on highly skilled people who can help build a stronger Canada. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer referred to the Liberals' immigration target as reasonable during the election campaign. He also said Canada's immigration target shouldn't be politicized, which suggests some cooperation between the two parties on Canada's target may be possible. The Liberals aren't expected to introduce major changes to Canada's express entry system, which was introduced by the Conservatives in 2015 to manage the pool of candidates for three of Canada's main economic immigration programs, the Federal Skilled Worker Class, Canadian Experience Class, and Federal Skilled Trades Class. The points-based system issues eligible candidates a score based on their age, education level, skilled work experience, and proficiency in English or French. Among other factors, and a set of the highest ranked candidates are invited to apply for Canadian permanent residence through regular draws from the express entry pool. In 2016, the Liberals reduced the number of points awarded for a job offer from 600 to a maximum of 200 to ensure that those invited to apply for permanent residence are highly skilled are more likely to find economic success in Canada. The Conservatives pledged to reserve this change in their election platform, a promise that could spark some friction between the two top parties in Parliament. Another key Liberal pledge in immigration was their promise to create a municipal nominee program in order to ensure communities of all sizes around Canada are able to attract and support skilled foreign workers and their families. The Liberals said the proposed program will allow local communities, chambers of commerce and local labor council to directly sponsor permanent immigrants. The Liberals also pledged to make the Atlantic immigration pilot permanent. The fast track program allows employers in Canada's four Atlantic provinces, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador and Prince Edward Island to hire foreign nationals for jobs they haven't been able to fill locally. Both the municipal nominee program and Atlantic Immigration Pilot echo the conservative pledge to encourage new economic immigrants to consider jobs in remote parts of the country by providing them with information about the opportunities that exist outside of our urban centers. The Liberals also pledged to make applying for Canadian citizenship free, saying the process of granting citizenship is a government service, not something they should be paid for with a user fee.
The liberals could also find common ground with the NDP or Bloc Quebecois on certain immigration-related initiatives. Relying on either party for legislative support, however, would come with strings attached and open the door to the liberals considering NDP or Bloc immigration priorities. For the NDP, these priorities include improving the recognition of foreign professional credentials, removing the annual cap on sponsorship application for parents and grandparents, and suspending Canada's safe third country agreement with the United States. The safe third country agreement limits who can claim asylum at official land border crossing between Canada and the United States, but doesn't extend to unofficial points of entry. This loophole has been used by nearly 50,000 non-Americans to claim asylum in Canada since US President Donald Trump came to power. The NDP says the treaty should be suspended to allow all asylum seekers to make their claim at official border crossings. The Bloc Quebecois could try to leverage its renewed presence in Parliament to secure greater autonomy for Quebec over immigration to the province. Quebec already has the power to select all economic class immigrants to the province and set immigration levels and its provincial government is now seeking control over family and refugee class admissions to the province. Immigration priorities outlined by the Bloc Quebecois include ensuring that Quebec residents who apply for Canadian citizenship have sufficient knowledge of French and veto for Quebec over any federal decision to expel a refugee and suspending Canada's safe third country agreement with the United States. The vast majority of asylum seekers from the United States have entered into Quebec via an unofficial crossing called Roxham Road and Bloc Quebecois wants the treaty suspended to limit them, the mounting backlog of claims and the cost to Quebec. So guys, as you can see, the Liberals won this elections and all the immigration programs are still going to be alive and we will continue working on different projects as well as we will follow all the immigration processes so we could provide it to you guys. So just to remind you once again that we're providing different type of services that might help you to immigrate under the programs of AIPP and RNIP. So please get more instruction and details under this video and then you will get all the detailed information about services that we provide and possibly you're the next one who could get a job offer and immigrate to Canada. So this is it for today. This was the just a news section about the Canadians return to liberals to power with minority government. So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us in the comments down below or just send us an email with your questions and we will be happy to answer to all of your questions in the next Q&A time, which is coming up very soon. All right. Once again, this is it for today. There was Huang and there was the channel about how to immigrate to Canada. And I'll see you in the next video.